SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Welcome to the brand new Dishing Out with Ndani. My name is Chef Eros. Eros is the god of love, and my love is food. On this episode, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite steamed bean cake, locally known as Moi Moi. And to do this, I have the beautiful, ever so pleasant, Oreka Goodness. Hi, Hello. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Yes, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I heard you're making Moi Moi. That's correct. What kind of moi moi? Is it moi moi let me make J? Ah. Or let me 12? <laughs> is it no, real moi moi? Because me these meta are... No, I mean, it's my version of moi moi let me 12, okay. as you call it. Okay. it has a lot of ends, as you can see. There's a lot of colors and all of that I stuff. see that. So, um, we're going to make the moi moi the local way we normally do it. So, as usual, uh, soak the beans and put in your seasoning. But mm -hmm. what I'm doing this time around is I'm actually going to use some flavors from peppers. So uh, here I have my favorite things in the world. Okay. Red, yellow, and green peppers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to chop this up, put that into the moi moi, steam it, um, but this time around I'm, I'm, I'm going high up in technology and okay. using a steam oven. But you can do it locally at home with the uh, regular pot as you would normally do. And then um, we're going to make some custard to go with this. And mm -hmm. yeah, oh, we're also having chicken in here. Ooh. Smoked chicken. Smoked chicken. I love, love smoked chicken. Awesome. All right, so you ready to get started? I'm ready. All right, let's get me soon. Okay. The truth and the light. So All do right. I start by tasting the chicken? Well, you can do that. <laughs> Go for it. So at least you know how to see This is why I'm here. <laughs> to see. I'm going to double one too. Mm. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is wash the beans. So we're going to fill this up with water mm -hmm. and we're going to get washing. And whilst you're soak, fill, soaking this, um, I'm going to start prepping the vegetables and you can join me. I'll get I can wash it as is, right? Because my grandma yeah. used to make me pick out the, and I, I hate to like... All the dirt is going to come to the top anyway, so oh. you, can, you can... I mean, it's already been sort of picked beforehand, mm -hmm. um, but any leftovers is going to come to the top and you can wash that out. Excellent. Uh, fantastic. Oreka. Oreka. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm tasting it. Okay. Over to the ginger. Ginger is something that a lot of people struggle ginger, with in terms of peeling. Ginger. Uh -huh. ginger. Oh, ginger. <laughs> All right. Trick here again. Peeling ginger. Teaspoon. Just do that. And the skin literally comes off so, so easily. All right. Two cups of beans uh -huh. has gone in here. Le tataché. Two of that. And then the onions, we're just going to cut that into small pieces so that it works very nicely with the bender, mm -hmm. okay? All right, and then we're going to add an additional cup of water. You see, I like to play around a little, so mm -hmm. I like to play around with water, so just... And then, yeah, this is the, the um, roto goes in as well, yeah. Okay. So onions, rodo, tasache are the key things that needs to go in the moi moi. Um, when does the ginger go in? Goes in now too. Okay. The ginger. All right, and there you have it. I'm not in charge of doing dishes today, right? No, I got that. I'm, <laughs> I'm that. here to eat, not cook. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything I can help with? Of course, you can help with the stir fry. Okay, so. Okay. Pot, here's your coconut oil. Okay. Um, we're only going to put about a teaspoon of coconut oil in there. So, How high? Um, level number Can six, which would be a medium high. So that, that's a medium high heat. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that needs to stay on there for it to work. Yeah. Oh, look, the light yeah. goes on. Ooh, fancy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, coconut oil. Okay. And I'm going to pass you. All of these. So you want to use all this, all this oil? Uh, no, no. Uh, you said uh, use oil. I said one teaspoon. I didn't hear you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't. Can you please? Yeah, sure. Mr. Masula. There you go. Chef, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's about enough. You just coat in the bottom of the pan. Okay. And you're going to start off with the garlic and the onions, and then you bring the peppers in. No, no, no. Oh, you, oh OK. Ideally, you just start off with garlic and onions first. You let that stir fry, all right? So that will come up Shall to I heat. Pick it up? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing with these. These are going in at the very end. All right, so that stays over there. 
So, I usually throw that away. Yeah. Why is but, that going in? Um, and it's going in because that's where the fiber and the protein is. Oh. So, especially the fiber. I don't want to lose that. Oh. All right. But you see, before I put that in, I'm going to give it a very nice chop. Oh, okay? I hear it sizzling. Yes, there we go. All right, so here I'm going to use two stock cubes, two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, I'm going to put a pinch of salt, simply because I really love garlic. I'm going to put a bit of garlic pepper. Now, you don't have garlic pepper, don't worry about it. You don't have to put it in. So I just like that taste of, of the garlic pepper. And then I also like some black pepper and white pepper in my moi moi. If so. I don't have garlic pepper, can I just chop some more garlic and throw it in the oil? You can do that. Fresh garlic, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's if you really want the garlicky taste. Okay. You know, that, that, that nice um, scent that the garlic gives. And if I don't have garlic at all, can I throw in shallots or spring Fantastic. onions? Fantastic. Can I do that? Yes, of course. Okay. And now your stir fry goes in. Total? Yes. Wait, what's this? Ramekin. What's it for? It's where the moimo is going to go before it Where's goes Where's the leaf? Uh, uh, you see, we forgot to buy leaf, so, <laughs> so we're going to do it clean. Okay. I mean, the leaf, uh, see the thing about it is, there's so many different ways you can do the moimo. You can you do can it do in it a tin. bowl, exactly, a tin. People even do it in nylon bags. Yes. Whatever you have are What's your favorite flavor? The, the leaf. I love the leaf. It does love come out leaf. I love punchier, the leaf. right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, I, like that. I like that fresh pungent taste it has. So. Yeah. Um, as our protein, we're using smoked chicken, so I'm going to grab some of this already shredded smoked chicken. And I'm just going to give this a rough chop. Moi moi, let me 12. Of course. <laughs> Finally. So we're going to do, we're doing two, two separate versions. Okay, we're so it's not chicken and salmon. Uh, no. You, should, we, should we try maybe a third one with chicken and salmon? Because it's smoked salmon? Is it smoked, yeah, smoked, smoked salmon and, and smoked, smoked chicken? Uh-uh, he enters now. Come on. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> gives you I enough was going to do a high five. A high five. Sorry. Less salmon. Oh. Okay, this is turning out to be a massive treat. I've never had salmon in my moi moi. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to get filling. So this three is salmon, and that five is chicken. Okay. Now over to the seeds. And so that it has some flavor, mm -hmm. a pinch of salt, and Your some black pepper. Your spice rack is incredible, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you all. And for the very last bit, which is the garnish, I'm going to use two different colors for the two different ones. So okay. we're going to go for yellow and green for the chicken, and yellow and red for the salmon. Temperature 100 degrees, duration 20 minutes. Time to plate up. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can see the excitement. Okay. All right, let's get started with our custard. Okay. I have to shake it. <laughs> okay. Let's that. Yum, yum. Okay, so, so this some is more the salmon. Custard. Just for you. I have it on the side there. Uh. All right. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's okay. go. Oh, that smells divine. 
There's a party in my mouth right now. <laughs> there is. Okay, so what does this count as really? Is this dessert or... Because you've got cake, technically, and custard. Is this main? Can you part no, of your main no. or dessert? This is a main. Appetizer? This is probably an entree. This is... I like the salmon one even better than the smoked chicken. Okay, let me try your chicken. No. All right, let's walk around. Yes, I'm so sunny. No, that's good actually. No, I think I'm on it. Your chicken has a different flavor. It almost, I can taste more of the coconut with the chicken mm -hmm. than with the salmon. Okay. So fantastic. Are you gonna try this again? I definitely will. I That's definitely good. will. I'll be online getting the recipe because I, I can't remember what we just did, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. There you have it. Uh, steamed bean cake and custard. Do try it out and send us the pictures. Tell us how it went and you might win something. You might get a chance to cook in this kitchen with us. This is Dishing Out. I'm Chef Eros. See you next time. This is wonderful. Thanks for having me, guys. Mm. And Danny all the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Hi, I'm Onos. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.